We are working tirelessly from the local to state to national to international and UN levels to get restoration onto the agenda. There is currently nothing in our statutes or on the books that push towards carbon removal, that push towards restoration. We have a lot on mitigation. Our partners at XPRIZE, they've done a good job of helping focus the carbon tech industry on scalable, durable solutions that can make a, a real measurable impact. Without legislation, though, it's really hard to get any of these things implemented at a meaningful scale. Everyone on the panel has acknowledged the, the, the challenge and the need, and the need for detail, and the need for beyond a vision, the need for actual metrics. We set up in the second piece a climate restoration framework for the first time ever in California. It would set out a restoration framework and require us to go beyond neutrality and beyond even net negativity, all the way to pre-industrial levels. Having leadership like SB582 as a model for other government entities and also for other citizen advocates is really a helpful thing to have. And the more that these things can get introduced, the more they can be replicated elsewhere. California is really ground zero for showing people how this actually works. The city and county of San Francisco have a five-year plan where they use the Carbon Star rating to specify the concrete they'll be pouring there for the next five years. Make California where we're storing the carbon, not where we're creating it. One of the things that we hear all the time is, what can I do? Where can I see this being done? Join the Foundation for Climate Restoration's new local chapters program. One of the purposes of this program is to help educate chapter members about what legislation is available and how they can work with their local policymakers to get things implemented. It is really important to show up, throw down at your local city hall, um, and do that at the Capitol. That phone call in the hearing really helps. Even if it feels like you're just one voice on a big long list, it's going to affect the conversation. We've got to be a little bit brave and push the envelope.